So what's a catfish? Well, for starters, it was an indie documentary about how I met a girl online who lived in Michigan. I fell in love with her even though I'd never actually met her. We had a couple potential titles for the film, but we ended up calling it Catfish. Turns out, she was not the hot 19-year-old girl she'd presented herself to be, and was actually sort of a troubled 40-year-old mom instead. Surprise, babe. Our documentary actually ended up inspiring a term that found its way onto Urban Dictionary. A catfish is someone who pretends to be someone they're not, using Facebook or other social media to create false identities. One time, I fell in love with a girl on Facebook who turned out not to be who she said she was. But meeting the woman she turned out to be became one of the most meaningful experiences of my life. We made a movie about it. It was kind of a hit. I became a lightning rod for bizarre online relationships and found myself wanting to help other people meet their online loves the way that I met my... All right, this is a good one. Dear Neve, I'm in an online relationship with the greatest guy ever. And we have officially been dating for the last two years, for about three years now online. For 10 years, one problem. We haven't met yet. Short of photos and phone conversations, I have not actually seen her or talked to her in person. We've tried to meet almost a dozen times. I need the help of someone who's been through this experience before, and that's you. I'm desperate to meet the man of my dreams. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, are you crazy? Neve, we're gonna miss the flight. We are heading to Atlanta now. Rochester. Going to Mississippi. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hey, man. How, How you doing? doing? The connection we built is really something once in a lifetime. It's an unconditional love. I don't know what I would do without him. I love her. You know, I love Abby. I just hope he is. I always say he is. The next step for us is to sort of dig in. Yeah, go ahead and investigate. Okay, ready, Max? Let the research begin. Uh-oh, we got something. He's married. <laughs> no. It means that the person she's been talking to is a fake. He says she's who she says she is. This is her. It checks out. This could just be another fake profile. This is bad news. She's a catfish. Oh, my god. Is any of it bad? I just don't want to be disappointed. Who is this person? I don't know. I spoke to Matt. Mm -hmm. He will meet you. Oh my god. 30 minutes, 30 minutes away. Tyler, you want to hit go? Oh, I'm scared. Oh my god, tell me about it. Oh my god, this is so weird. I cannot believe it's you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What's up? Are you okay? No, not I at all. Know. I just don't understand what's going on. Guys, 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 guys. Hello? So why did we call it Catfish? Well, when I finally met the 40-year-old mom, I also met her husband. And he told us this amazing story. They used to take live cod in these giant vats on ships from Alaska to China. But by the time the codfish got to China, their flesh would become mush and tasteless. So some guy had the bright idea of putting catfish in these vats with the cod to chase them around and keep them moving. Mm. And he finished by saying that he thanked God for the catfish because life would be droll, boring, and dull if we didn't have someone nipping in our fence.